darknesses, darknesses, fuck yo couch. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Pokemon Clover. I leveled up all my Pokemon to level 13. Just a little bit of grinding in between episodes and uh, hopefully that'll help me out. Mount Moot, still a mystery. Uh, we might have some more battles on the way. We shall see. Um, these Pokemon have all been relatively low level, unfortunately, so it's super hard to grind in this game is what I'm finding. The levels are a little bit off. Why am I still encountering level 3 Pokemon? If I win against you, maybe Senpai will notice me. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Senpai's busy, you know? He's got lots of shit. To, to worry about. Last, Robin sent out Semdrop, which I assume is the uh, evolved form of a Jackasm. So water type, no problem. We'll bug bite that shit. Uh, half the health already. And Keck is doing pretty good with uh, defenses and whatnot. So down it goes, some easy experience. Ah, Kenjin, I will switch out. Save my Keck for a little later. <laughs> And uh, we'll send in Kim. Lil' Kim! Lil' Rattata! Uh, <laughs> score rap, that's what it is. It's not a Rattata. Uh, let's go ahead and tackle it. I don't really have any great moves for uh, Kim at the moment, but that's okay. Sand attack, a little bit of accuracy drop. I think we should be still be fine. Uh, I can't take too much of a beating. There we go. I was really hoping... Uh, that Squirrel Rap would learn Quick Attack at some point, but I don't know. Maybe it ain't gonna happen. So he's got a Nauseon, or she rather. I will send in my own Nauseon, and uh, that'll keep me from getting poisoned and shit like that. Cause nobody like that poison! That means a, a trip back to the Pokemon Mart. I should probably go to the Pokemart. <laughs> I meant Poke Center, but I should probably go to the Pokemart just to uh, get some. Get some shit, because it's probably going to be a long trip through Mount Moot. Uh, I got Screech, so my defense dropped. Luckily, the uh, acid hits my special defensive side, so it should be relatively okay. Poison is a special move in this generation, so I should be able to weather this relatively well unless it starts tackling. No, Porplum! It looks like it's going to keep using poison moves, which is just great. We'll be able to weather this nicely. Um, I, sh I think about using some acid of my own, but, um, yeah, it's not really worth it. The defense drop doesn't seem to be triggering as often as it should. And it goes down anyways. Goodbye, Nauseon. And another Kenjin. Well, here comes Decker. Suck my Decker. Here he comes. Yeah, boy. And I got this, uh, Rock Throw. I got Magnitude. I got Mud Slap. I got rid of Metronome on Decker, unfortunately, but uh, we just had to make some room. I can go back and learn Metronome anytime I want, once I learn Fly and the like, so everything should be just fine. Yeah, easy kill with the rock throw. Good job, Decker. No, how could you? Senpai! Yep, I did it. Now Senpai will never notice me. He wasn't gonna. It wasn't gonna anyways. Get over it. Get over it, Winnie. Get over it. Oh, that's that's the way we came. Hey, how about you, buddy? Wanna fight? What do you think the inside of mud pants smells like? <laughs> mud pants? What's a mud pants? I want to see the mud pants. Show me the mud pants. There's the clover. I think uh, grass and fairy maybe. We'll try the bug bite. Vine Whip is not going to do much against Keck. The mighty Keck takes this thing down in one fell blow. Look at that. Demonstrating his awesome power. Oh, and he does have a Mud Pants. So I'm not going to switch quite yet. What the fuck? He's got Sandstream. So we got a Sandstorm coming our way. He's probably a ground type. Uh, mud, and then he also summons the... The sandstorm and whatnot, and I took damage just for that fucker coming out. That's not cool. I'm gonna switch into Decker. Um, he will take super effective damage from ground attacks, but hopefully this thing doesn't have any. No, he uses Rollout. Uh, I think Kenjin also learned Rollout 
And I think I deleted Net Metronome on Kenjin as well. So Pecker ain't got no rollout, but that's just fine. We'll be okay. Rock Throw's not going to be super effective. I'll try the Horn Attack. See how that goes. If it's not very effective, then we'll go with ground moves. But it seems to be effective enough. This rollout is going to start really... Really going to start to hurt in a, a turn or so. This is how Whitney kills me every fucking time. Oh god, here it comes! Oh, it's so painful! Is it over? It lasts three to five turns, so it's probably not over yet. Horn attack crit, come on! Oh god. That's it for Decker. There he goes. Sorry, little buddy. I'm sure he'll get some more levels uh, regardless. But let's let's go into Douglas. We probably should have done this to begin with since that thing is ground type. And I could get the Vine Whip on it. Hopefully he's not going to hit this rollout and uh, destroy me. Or yeah, I could just be faster. That would be nice too. <laughs> Hooray! Goodbye, Mud Pants. Defeated youngster Calvin. Yes, I sure did. I was just wondering for a few laughs. Well, it, it probably smells like poop. Or dirt. Do you think Mudpants gets embarrassed when it poos in front of other Pokemon? I just thought it was a funny thing. <laughs> yeah. Everybody should be embarrassed when they poo in front of others. That's how life works. Then again, dogs don't really care. Dogs do kind of give you a look when they're taking a shit. They like look back and they're like, are you watching me? Yes, I am, as a matter of fact. I'm gonna take you down with my Ash and Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> you can try. You're more than welcome to try. School kid Sally wants to battle. Sends out Pixela. Oh, I love this little thing. Little grass type. Easy KO for Pecker. There we go. Nice Peck. Nice Pecker. <laughs> Thanks, bro. My mom gave it to me. And you can see I've got rollout on uh, Pecker now. I don't know how useful it's going to come in, but... Probably more useful than Metronome. Metronome is just uh, one of those moves that you use for laughs. You got a few extra turns in a battle, you're like, okay, here's some Metronome. I'm in so much trouble. Yeah, go home. Where are your parents? That was just a rental Pokemon from the school that I uh, borrowed. Now what am I going to do? <gasps> you stole a Pokemon? You must be part of Team Rocket. Oh, no. Let's put Douglas in the front. He's my little boy. He's my little guy. And I want to get this berry, see what this tree holds. Cherry berry. Gets rid of paralysis, I think, if I am remembering correctly, which I may or may not be. I don't know. I don't know none too much. I don't know nothing about no Pokemon, whatever. Let's get out of here before the Nauseon starts spraying poison all over my grass type. There is a lot of battles out this way. My goodness. Would you like to see my bug collection? Uh, do I have a choice? <laughs> I was gonna say no, but I guess we're here now. James sends out Larvades! Oh god. Larvades. Um, I don't know what do. I guess Gremlin. I just don't want that thing to like bug bite me or whatever because it's getting pretty high up to level 12. Oh, he uses the Absorb, that's right. So he's going to suck up the liquid ooze from Gremlin. Really good idea. A good idea that I basically had accidentally. <laughs> so there's some acid. Thundershock, that's going to have a pretty good uh, effect, I do think. Actually, it's not bad. Gremlin is pretty bulky, all things considered. And here comes a string shot. No problem there. We are at a, a decent level, finally, although once we get into the cave, I'll probably encounter, like, some level 15 Pokemans. And then I'll be in trouble again, and I'll have to stop and grind a little more, but that's fine. I cut out all the grinding, because that's that's a, a treat for you. <laughs> I don't want to bore you, necessarily. He's got a Keck Roach. Um, gosh. Let's put Kim in there. Let's see what Kim can do. I don't know if it's uh, going to be able to overcome Kekroach's defense. I don't really know anything about the base stat totals of these Pokemans. He uses Endure, that's fine. I was just going to use Sing. Here you go. Sleepy sleep. Good night. See you later. And then uh, I'm going to start howling just a little bit. Boost up my stats so whatever his defense is, I can 
likely overcome that. And he's still asleep. There you go. What a tired little guy. Aren't you just so tired? Yeah. And his defense is really, really good. It's going to be a three-hit KO, I think. It probably would have been a uh, five or six-hit KO if I had not boosted my attack stat. So, great job, Squirrap. We love you. Still a work in progress, all right? Yeah, you only got two. What the fuck? You want a curry crawl? I got a curry crawl I could trade you. I'm trying to find a bug that evolves into a menacing steel type. I still haven't made any progress in locating one, though. Well, um, if you go to, uh, whatever, fucking, whatever region Scyther's in, you can get a, you can get a, uh, a, a Caesar. that's what they call it. That's right, I'm having trouble remembering the old Pokemon since I'm playing with all these new Pokemon. Hey, what's up, bro? Are the trainers in this region too strong for you? Maybe you should... Oh, god damn it! I missed it. <laughs> Okay, slowly, slowly, get good. Exactly what I thought you'd say. Whatever. I'm pretty good, bro. I've gazed into the edge of the abyss, and it stared back. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Mount Mood is so large, don't get lost inside. Oh, there's a berry tree out there as well. But first, I want to heal my Pokemans. And is that guy wearing a, a tinfoil hat? <laughs> tinfoil battle helm? They're always watching me, from the stars. Hmm, thank you, Nurse Happy. That's so nice. Shalom! While it is unethical to help adventuring boys like you, I'll make an exception this one time. Ah, TM46. Never use the move thief in battle when battling your friendly and kosher merchants. <laughs> if you do that, something seriously bad will happen! Ah, <laughs> oh, the Juno's thief, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fortune, dude. <laughs> Team Karma attacks Gaddock Museum. Sometimes I question their real motives. It seems like petty crime, but I think there's something much deeper there. Well, we'll probably find out pretty shortly, eh? So, you're a newbie trader, right? In Pokemon centers like this one, nurses will hear your Pokemon for free. Very convenient, isn't it? But it's a trap! <laughs> Thank you, Admiral Akbar. Hello there, laddie! Have I got a deal just for you? I'll let you have a secret Pokemon, a trout bait, for just 500 Poke. You'll buy it, am I right? No. You say no, I'm only doing this as a favor to you. Trout bait? I kind of do want it, but I know it's going to be like a Magikarp clone. I guess I'll just do it. Whatever, I got some money. Hey, bro. I changed my mind. Can I, can I have that thing? Would you send it to my PC, please? You want to give a nickname to it? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know what it looks like or what its entry says, so I'll just call it Baitin. Baitin! Get out of here, bro, I'm Baitin! There you go. Trail bait was transferred to someone's PC, placed in box one. I want to have a look at it. I want to see my glorious new Pokemon! Probably a water type. Probably, uh, only no splash, but let's see. Look at all these Pokemans I have now. Oh, I caught this thing as well. Um, I want to have a look at this. See what it is. Poison and flying. Oh, naughty nature. Decreases attack, increases special defense. Bleh. Big pecs for reducing... Uh, <laughs> you can't reduce its defense, which I don't think it matters. Don't really know much about this Pokemon, but looking at it, I'm uh, not extremely interested. At least now I know it is a poison and flying type. And here's my trow bait. It is a water type. Uh, ability Water Veil present prevents burns. Decrease defense, increase special defense with the lax nature. Meh. It knows tackle and leer, but uh, yeah. Only level 5. I ain't gonna bother with it at this time. Although uh, I probably could use a water type on my team. Water types are always good. Water, grass, and fire. I've got the grass type covered. Water type uh, starters are difficult to choose just because um, it's so easy to find water Pokemon. Oh, and here's an Orin Berry in this tree. Can recover some HP. Wonderful. Welcome to Mount Moot. We have arrived. Probably going to be a couple episodes before we get here. Beware, Fernazi will steal your kosher food. <laughs> he combines his milk and his meat! Get him! 
I've been here for weeks and I haven't found a single bug yet. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Unless, you know, you're a bug catcher or something. Oh, you are a bug catcher! Nice to meet you. Well, that's not a bug, is it? Pixela? What are you doing with that thing, huh? I'll send in Pecker. Pecker should be able to get some decent XP out of this. And uh, he'll probably get his level up too. Is that grass and bug? I caught one of those, but I didn't look at the typing for it. Dang it! I'm such a newbie trainer, dude! I don't know anything about anything! That's fine. String shot me all you like. I'm gonna peck the fuck out of you. Bam! Look at it! It's still gonna be a three hit KO, I think. And there's a fairy wind! That actually does some pretty decent damage. Both level 13. Oh, it was a two hit KO. That's wonderful. I feel so strong. I feel so powerful. Good job, Pecker. Level 14. Getting up in the world. Wedguard. Um, it's like a red guard from from <laughs> from Elder Scrolls, or I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm gonna go ahead and send in Douglas just in case it's a rock type or something weird. Yeah, I have no idea. Dark type, maybe? It looks pretty evil. Let's try a vine whip. We'll see how that goes. Horn attack coming my way. Does some decent damage. Yeah, we got uh, super effective damage with the vine whip, so maybe it's a ground type or something like that. I really need to go back and buy some potions. This is going to be ugly pretty shortly. There is a Pokemon Center right outside, and I'm going to need it. <laughs> God damn! All right. Send Kim in there. Your foe's weak! Get him, Kim! And he used a sand attack. Why not horn attack? Why you gotta do this? I still hit the tackle, that's fine. Everything's okay here. Alright. Maybe I should have stayed in Vitalia Woods. Maybe so. Maybe you should get the fuck out of here, bro. Alright. Douglas is, uh, KO'd. Well, I probably shouldn't go back to the Pokemon Center immediately. Look at all these low-level pokes. My god, it's like they, they purposely did this, so grinding would be extra hard. Give me this. A rare candy. Mmm, this candy is so rare and delicious. Much too good for li ch little children. There's another wet guard. Um, you wanna bug bite that thing? We'll see how it go. Wow, that actually did a pretty good job. Pretty good job! I'm gonna go ahead and catch that thing! Oh, we're really low on Pokeballs as well. Pokeballs and Great Balls! And I need some potions and shit as well. Oh, wow. It's, uh... Not not willing to be caught. It doesn't want to come with me. I don't really want to waste all my Pokeballs either. Come on, bro! Just get in the fucking Pokeball! Why you gotta do that? Okay. Hooray! Wonderfully done! Now I can find out some more about this fuck in case I encounter another one. Hmm, the forest Pokemon, Wedge Pokemon. It may look weak, but it can easily crush rocks twice its size. They hide in holes near mountains. Well, that didn't tell me much about its typing or anything, did it? No, it didn't. Um, I'm gonna call him Blackness, because the red guards are the black ones in <laughs> Elder Scrolls. <sighs> There you go. Darknesses! Darknesses! Fuck! Yo! Couch! Alright. I gotta uh, flash back to the Pokemon Center real quick, so I'm gonna cut here. And uh, my Pokemon will be healed. I'll, I'll be back here. That lady will probably not be in the same place, though. Alright. Pokemon Mart. Hello there. Uh, welcome back to Gadex City, etc, etc. I wanna get, like... Oh my god, it's so expensive. So expensive, bro. I'm just gonna buy eight of these Pokeballs. Let's get some potions as well. Oh, man. What else am I gonna need? I'll get five potions. Hopefully that'll carry me. And then, uh, some antidotes. Those are nice and cheap, aren't they? We'll get, we'll, we'll, we'll get the three of those. Yeah, you give me three of them antidotes. And then I don't really have, uh, much else that I'm able to buy. So I'll take one Paralyze Heal. Thank you so much. Anything else I can do? No, I'm good. Thanks, bro. And uh, I'll be back at Mount Moot in just a moment. Hey, everybody! Hi, Dr. Nick. <laughs> Alright, here we go. My Pokemon are all healed. I got some goods in order for uh, 
to get through this fucking thing without much trouble, hopefully. But this is a difficult game, bro. I didn't think it would be so difficult. Oh boy, I love caves. This one's so big and damn. And deep. And warm. Ooh. <laughs> Armando. Look at that fucking thing. I know it's a fighting type, but I don't really want to fuck with it at the moment. I'll probably uh, encounter another one at some point. Oh, you don't want to fight me? I like spending time here, but I can't shake off the feeling of being watched. They're always watching, bro. I'll sell you a tinfoil hat if you want. It's pretty nice. Huh? I'm doing nothing wrong here. Get lost. You, you sound pretty guilty to me, bro. I'm just going to tell you the way the way that I see it. <laughs> Neat. Neat Joven. Oh, yeah. He's got his body pillow. He's doing some things to that body pillow. It needs a bath in a bad way. Whoa, this sem drop is not, um... Not water type as I expected it to be. Vine Whip does not do much at all to it. If you don't know what neat means, it's uh, not in education, employment, or training. It's basically uh, a basement virgin, you know? <laughs> that kind of thing. You know those basement virgins. No one's sending Pecker uh, just because he's already level 14. I want to get Douglas up there. Come on, Douglas! Smash this thing into the ground! Yeah, you got it, bro. All right, a little more tackling. That's fine. I can handle that. Oh, but I missed my vine whip. Here comes more mud slap. Ah, not cool. Not cool, bro. I don't like it. Get the vine whip. There we go. Now I got to switch this thing out because my accuracy is all fucked up. Oh, and Douglas hit level 14 as well. That's another good reason to switch. He's got really, really well-rounded stats. <laughs> Everything is 22 except his defense. Oh, and Douglas is trying to learn Bite. That's quite nice. Little dark type move there. I'm gonna get rid of Metronome on Douglas as well. I cry just a little bit, but uh, I don't see myself using Metronome, <clears throat> especially as my Pokemon are learning attacks that will be like more guaranteed powerful, you know what I mean? I wanna know what this Sem Drop is made of, aside from, you know, proteins and amino acids that's a reference to semen I'm gonna send in my uh, my score wrap ooh sem drop has insomnia that doesn't make sense or maybe it does like once you jerk off don't you just want to go to sleep after but maybe that's because your your semen is the part of you that has insomnia and then you just squirt it into a sock and now you can go sleepy sleep <clears throat> Something like that. Ah, uh, Score Wrap's taking a good bit of damage here. Let's try Keck. Let's see what you can do, buddy. I don't know what type this thing is, so... Yeah, it's a little difficult to... to guesstimate what I'm supposed to use. But that's part of the fun, isn't it? I do know that Bug resists ground, so that Mud Slap's not gonna do much. I just have to hope that he doesn't keep using Tackle. And he will. <laughs> Oh, come on. Don't miss again. Little bug bite. That's fine. And taking some pretty good damage already. Oh, man. I don't remember my Pokemon getting smacked up this hard in other games. It just ain't fair. It's alright. Everybody's gonna be at level 14 soon enough. Ooh, Keck wants to learn Faint Attack. That'll have same type attack bonus. It's 60 power, so I guess I can get rid of Tackle. That seems fair. I don't see myself using Tackle none too much, and then I get to keep Metronome. At least on Keck, because, you know, Keck means LOL if you're playing World of Warcraft. If you're in Alliance listening to Orcs. <laughs> Got milk? Got tendies? <laughs> I want some tendies, fucking normie! Hee hee hee, I like to pass all day looking at the pretty lasses that come here. I bet you do. And he's got two Sem Drops too, I didn't put that together until just now. Ha ha ha! He jerks off a lot. <laughs> That's fine. You, you do you, bro. Literally. <laughs> There's another land shell. I'm not going to bother with this. It probably knows some ground attacks as well, so Gremlin ain't gonna get no experience. Not from this one. And there's a, a way down. But I wanna, uh, I wanna explore just a little more. See if I can find some more treaties. Some more tasty tweets.
Just real quick. What's over this way? Okay, there's a trainer. I'm gonna end this episode here, friends. Uh, we'll go left, and then we'll go right, and hopefully everything's gonna go all right. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching, friends. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. That is always appreciated. Helps the channel to get out there. Also helps this uh, ROM hack to make its way around the internet, which I think it deserves to, doesn't it? It's pretty funny. It got some jokes. Got jokes, got jokes. Anyways, friends, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Pokemon Clover. And until the next time, friends, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.